Mm-hmm. So let me slide that thing. How am I going to get it on the plate? Let's just flip it. <laughs> it worked. Ooh, bacon. A little waste bacon. Good morning, my little love bugs. Today, I'm going to have breakfast with you because why not? I haven't done a breakfast mukbang in so long. And so I'm going to be eating an omelet that has bacon, asparagus, spinach, and cheese. Um, a biscuit, and I have some fruit. I have some honey for my biscuit. Then I have a smoothie. Mm. Strawberry. That's good. And they gave me, I got it from Broken Yolk, which I didn't even know about until I moved to California. But they gave me like plastic silverware, but I don't think that's enough. Like I need to be able to get up in this thing. And I thought it'd be fun to do, I kept the plastic fork or plastic knife, however. I thought it'd be fun to do a breakfast move bomb because... I don't really do them often. And everybody should eat breakfast. Gotta get your day started off right. Look at that. It's got asparagus and bacon. Ooh. Mm. Mm I don't know what it is, but I have to have pork in my in my omelet. There has to be some form of pork. Cause y'all know me. I try to throw my vegetables in. Especially if I can throw my vegetables in and and it still tastes good. Mm-hmm. Ooh, look at that. Look at all that bacon. Y'all see all that? Mmm. So I wear my little robe. In the spirit of breakfast, y'all got me in my normal state. <laughs> no makeup, glasses on. Because you know, I love makeup. I wasn't allowed to wear it when I was little. Mm, that's good, honey, too. I wasn't allowed to wear makeup when I was little. So... I love being able to play in it now. Mm. Mm. That was sweet. Let's try this biscuit. You never know what a biscuit. I'm not gonna lie. It's from Broken Yolk and woo, this biscuit look dry. It look worse than a Popeye's biscuit. It's so good though. It's baked well. Look at that. Dip it in the honey. See what's happening. Mm, mm mm. It's hard. We're not eating that biscuit. I eat the part that's not hard. But like. This is all like really hard. So we just gonna break that off. Throw it away. JoJo's like, I would've ate it. Mmm. The part that's not hard is good, but somebody didn't bake them right. Being in Texas so long, I learned how to make biscuits. So you gotta make biscuits and gravy. 
My gravy, however, could use some work. Mm. Mm. Yeah, I bet they ain't gonna get finished. Mm. Everything else is really good. See? Look at all that. I don't want my food to fall because, you know, Joe's the cameraman and he likes to eat my food, too. Mmm. 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 I needed this, too, because breakfast is so important. Like... If you skip breakfast, you're going to be hangry all day. <laughs> Not all day, but until you eat. Because that, that hunger is going to... Ooh, let me eat this cantaloupe. That hunger is going to catch up to you. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. It's so juicy. Look. Mm. I already know I won't drop the fruit. This is easier to cut. It's all the spinach and stuff. I had a day yesterday, y'all. Like, you know when you're just not feeling it? You just... You want a break. Not even a break. Like, I didn't need a break. It's just I wasn't as motivated as I usually am. Bacon! Mmm! Mmm! Because, like, I have to find it. This is why it's so important to have a really good group of people that you surround yourself with. Mm. 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 Because when you're not feeling it or you're having a, a, a down day, that's when you can lean on those people and they'll be there to lift you up. And I was having a down day. Oh, I got a burp. Uh. Excuse me. And it was like, like, I didn't feel like recording. I didn't feel like, I didn't even feel like being on YouTube, to be honest. And I don't even know what it was. It was just like something inside me was just like, I don't feel like getting on YouTube and watching videos or posting videos, anything like that right now. And I'm so hard on myself because I felt, I felt really guilty for even feeling that way. Cause this is something that I really like to do, but I called my friend and I explained to her how I was feeling and God bless her. Cause I needed, I needed her when, when I needed the conversation that we had, she was just like, you know, you got to stop being so hard. She's known me since I was 11. She's like, you got to stop being so hard on yourself. She was like, it's okay to have those days. She was like, you can't feel guilty for being human. 
And that I needed to hear that because I am, you know, I'll be hard on myself and I'll, and it's, it's a balance, you know, in other videos I've talked to y'all, my little glasses, in other videos I've talked to you guys about how you can't be too nice to yourself, especially when you're trying to accomplish a goal. But yesterday I learned the opposite end of that, which is sometimes you do have to be nice to yourself and give yourself a break and you got to make sure that you find that balance between the two because it's hard, you know? And so God bless her for telling me that she was like, you know, you've already prepared for having days like this. You already know that you're going to do it and you're motivated and you want to. She was like, but if you force yourself to do it on the days that you don't want to do it, you might stop liking it. And that was when it clicked. Like that was when I got it. Like, okay, girl, you're right. Mm. Mm. Oh, I don't know if y'all can hear that. I got my window open. It sounded like a car went over, like a metal plate or something. Mm. Let me just show y'all this bacon. Okay. Ooh, JoJo just had a field day. All that bacon. Mm. Yeah, he already on clean up. <laughs> So that was like super nice to just kind of feel that bit of relief and not feel like I was a, not that I felt like a failure, but I am hard on myself. So just remember that. Remember to be nice to yourself too. Find that balance and, and treat yourself like on Parks and Rec. Treat yourself every once in a while, but work hard too. Cause both are really important. And then What made it even more special, not more special, but, well, I mean, it was special. My day got even better because my friend took me out and we went to this place in San Diego called Boomers. And I had never been there before. And Boomers has, it's like, I don't even know how to describe it. It's like Chuck E. Cheese, meets putt putt golf meets a fair so there's go-karts and there's video games and there's um putt putt golf there was a ferris wheel and it was so nice like he took me out and we just went and played games and did putt putt and i got on the ferris wheel which i hadn't done in so long and it was just a nice like break jojo get back because you're real close to my plate and the camera sir Mm-hmm. Hmm. They cut too low on the asparagus. So I did that. And then we went and got food. I got oyster um I got oysters. Uh. Excuse me. I got oysters and they were like in this white wine sauce. And I think I might want to do a mukbang with oysters because there's a seafood market up the street from my house. And I've never made oysters before. So I feel like that would be a really good mukbang. Mm. Mm. Now I know I'm halfway through this mukbang, actually probably more than half. But I'm eating all this food, except for that biscuit. Make sure that you subscribe to my channel and hit the little bell so you know when I post new videos because I post videos every day. So you'll miss it if you don't have the alerts or if you're not subscribed. And of course, give this video a thumbs up. The family is growing, y'all. <laughs> it's funny. I feel like I just stopped for like 
a second to do my little plug but the family is growing i think i got like 89 new subscribers over the next over the last like three days and i almost like cried I was like, oh my God. <laughs> Cause like I look at it, but I don't look at it like, oh, got one more. Whoop, oh, got one more. Mm. Mm, let's eat the orange. Because it's like, It's kind of yellow, but it's good. And you know, oranges in the winter, that's like the go-to fruit. Oranges and apples. Mmm, all their fruit is good. And that's rare. It is, we, look, we're getting rid of that biscuit. But that's really rare to like have an actual like side of fruit and it'd be all good. Breakfast always gives me the most energy. And I need that if I'm going to do anything throughout the day. Oof. There's so many bacon bits, it's like hard to pick up. See? They're all coming out on this side. <laughs> My plate falling apart. Let me just... Quit playing. Jojo's looking at me like a weirdo. If he wants more bacon. Oh, I need the knife because there's some spinach right there. Ooh. These are going to be big old bites. Bacon just everywhere. Look at my plate. That's all bacon. bacon this was like the perfect amount of food too like the perfect amount because like oop, like I'm getting full but I'm I'm going to finish that, that piece right there. It's still going to get devoured. But it's not like, oh, no, I can't eat anymore. Like, that was a good size omelet. Because if you go to um, IHOP, honey, I'm eating omelet for days. <laughs> well, you know what? That could also be because IHOP comes with pancakes. I got a burp. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> and you can't reheat them pancakes now them pancakes i have pancakes need to be fresh i'd rather eat my pancakes and then eat my omelet later than 
try to finish my omelet because I know I'm not going to eat all that food. I'm going to eat all this food, though. Dang, that's a big piece. I, I lied. I can't even eat all that in one bite. Mm -hmm. <laughs> My little robe. This is all egg. So actually, I'm not even gonna eat that. I'm gonna go for the bacon. Mm. Mm hmm They did that. I love their little logo too. It's an egg. And it says, we've got huevos. <laughs> That's funny. Mm. I'm gonna tell y'all this really quick story before I leave. So one time, Jamie was out of town. This is recent. And I was going to house it, but I had bought a watermelon. I was going to the house it at my friend's house and I was going to take Jojo, but I had bought a watermelon and I didn't cut into it yet. Y'all tell me why I mean, I turned off all the air conditioning in the house. Cause obviously I wasn't going to be here. Tell me why that watermelon exploded on my counter. Oh my God. I didn't even know that could happen. And it stank. Oh, it stank. Because I was gone for like two days, two, three days. Thinking that watermelon was going to stay and be good when I got home. So don't do that. <laughs> do not leave your house in, in a bunch of heat and a watermelon on the counter. Because that thing will explode. <laughs> See, you come here and you get lessons. <laughs> mm. All right, guys. Thank you for having breakfast with me. This is a little bit, this was a little different, but I liked it. I think I'm going to do breakfast mukbangs every once in a while. I'm going to get a, um, a griddle soon so I can keep my food a little bit more hot, even though that was fine. We're just how I was. Plus, I think you'll be able to see the food a little bit better if I do get a griddle. So um, make sure that you comment below and let me know that you stopped by. And of course, if you have any questions, leave them there. I love hearing from you guys. Give this video a thumbs up. And if you haven't already, subscribe to my channel. Bye, guys. Have a good day.